Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just letting you know I've got three absolutely brutal masks for sale. We got one Halloween Kills bloody version and two Art the Clown bloody versions. Everything's bloody. And the Art the Clown masks always go quickly. They're just absolutely stunning. I know it's pretty horrific to look at, but that red, real, realistic Hollywood quality movie, Red Blood, contrasting against the white face and the black makeup, well, it's all makeup, I guess, but Jesus, it just looks amazing. It looks like he's been chewing on hearts, too. Absolutely brutal. I will include lots of footage in this video uh, of the masks on rotating base and just different angles, as well as lots of photography. You can also check out pictures on Instagram at Dean Knight 333 But they're absolutely brutal. If you want to get one of these, or all three of these, if you're a player, you can get in touch with me via email at deank333 at hotmail.co.uk Best way to get in touch with me is the email. You can DM me on Instagram and Facebook and I will be posting about these masks on the various groups on Facebook, the Myers Mask groups and the Art the Clown Appreciation Society. Don't forget I also do H40s, Halloween Kills, regular and bloody Halloween Ends masks, and I have a whole bunch of discontinued TOTS Captain Kirk masks that I can convert into Michael Myers masks for you. And I'll be doing more Art the Clown soon as well, but they are selling out so fast. I had to get the bloody versions from Mad About Horror because there was no clean in stock for a good while now. So these two are actually the bloody version, but the blood is terrible. So what you have to do is, and it's really time consuming, you have to paint over all of the stock blood that's on there with white paint obviously when you try to paint over any kind of you know bright color like or anything really prominent with white paint it takes many many coats and yeah it's a long long process but basically I convert them to clean versions and then put my own blood on them and it takes a long time and they look absolutely brutal I keep saying that but they do absolutely savage the blood is just disgusting and it will always look like that it will always look fresh and wet very very real very creepy when you're wearing it um, now obviously we've got two different paint jobs here you know I think there's a bit more blood on this one like on this side of the face I added a little bit more blood spray whereas this one's a little bit more clean on that side so I guess if you're after one in particular you can refer to one as the extra bloody version and um, yeah, first come, first served. Absolutely, really proud of these. I still don't have a bloody Art the Clown mask for my own collection. I need to work on that at some point. But I really like the Halloween Kills bloody version from the end of the film. I also don't have one of these for my collection yet, and this one's really tempting, but now I'm gonna let this one go. And the other two, Art the Clown mask as well. That just looks so real. All you need is to put that on because obviously I've cut the eyes out and repainted the whole mask. So when you put this on, your eyes are there and you literally, it's such a great sculpt. It's such an accurate looking mask. And with the realistic blood, it's just ridiculous. Come October, you're gonna be freaking a lot of people out with one of these. Absolutely brutal. But enjoy the rest of the video folks. Drop a like on it for me. Enjoy the music by White Bat Audio over the top. And get in touch with me once again. Email deank333 at hotmail.co.uk. Get in touch if you want to get one of these masks.